Hello, I'm Fred Miller, and this is a very brief description of one of my hour-long lectures in song. My wild Irish rose, the dearest flower that grows, plain talking and singing about some great personality or significant aspect of American popular song, this time Evergreen, the Irish presence in American popular music. The Irish-American story begins in, of all places, Ireland. She was in ancient times a cultural oasis, a locus of high culture for hundreds of years before being conquered by the Danes in the 10th century. Since then, she has suffered greatly and has been by necessity a country of emigrants. Yet her bardic tradition of song has never waned and remains invincible. Irish poet laureate Thomas Moore is responsible for much of what we think of as Irish song, compiling, assembling, preserving scores of songs during the first half of the 19th century. And then came the great famine when a million starved and another million left for America. Our gain, Ireland's loss. Happily, their music came with them, and they were everywhere. In the music halls, on the work gangs building the railroads and taming the West, toiling alongside the Jews and the blacks in Tin Pan Alley as the 20th century dawned and the great American popular song was born. Dubliner Victor Herbert's operettas were mainstream for 30 years, hand in hand with the man who owned Broadway, George M. Cohan. And then came Hollywood and its parade of unforgettable sons and daughters of Aaron, Bing Crosby, John Ford and his entourage, John Wayne, Maureen O'Hara, Barry Fitzgerald, Victor McLaughlin. What a presence. Every day is St. Paddy's, and everyone is Irish when we sing these songs and feel that special lift that is the Irish spirit in America. To engage me for this or any other lecture and song, please visit fredmillermusic.com from where you can contact me and review the entire series of more than 70 different lectures and song. Thanks for watching and look forward to hearing from you.